Good morning, it is Friday, at long last. I'm very excited. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I've had a shower this morning, so it's a little bit late time coming down. I've dried my hair and everything and put a tiny bit of makeup on. Morning, Luna Loon. Luna's in a very weird mood. I mean, she spent a large majority part of the night behind the sofa because fireworks were going off. I realized, by the way, that I didn't record my tea last night. <laughs> Completely forgot. Um, we just had chicken tenders, pasta, and Mayflower curry, so it wasn't exciting, but I completely forgot. I think because I was tired because I've been to Ikea. I just, it wasn't until I'd eaten it, I thought, oh, I've forgotten to record it. Anyway, so yeah, she st she sp we had loads of fireworks going off again, so she spent most of the night behind the sofa. But this morning, she came onto our bed, like she quite often does, and um, she wouldn't let me lift off it. She was like growling like she was gonna like bite one of us if we, if we went anywhere near her. So we just kept leaving her and we were like, well, she can't jump off our bed, our bed's quite high. I mean, she can jump off it, but I don't risk her hurting her leg. And um, she couldn't get off. So she just, she just stayed there and stayed there. Anyway, she's off now. I, I got her off and she did like the puppy craziest thing where she starts running around like a lunatic. Anyway, let me make the coffee and I'm going to actually go and sit and crochet. I'm dreading work today. I've actually been expelling my mind all night what I've got to do today. So that's, that's great. That's one of those things. We didn't have any trick or treaters come on. I must admit we were a bit grumpy and we... What's he doing with my jar? Um, we were a bit grumpy and we um, switched the lights off and locked the door. But I didn't have any sweets in to give them because if I'd bought those in, I'd just be eating them. I'm terrible at the minute. I don't have a huge amount of self control at the moment. I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Um, yeah, so didn't have any trick or treaters around. They did have a massive trick or treat in our town centre. I think it was on the news. So all of the shops did trick or treat and they put special things on for the kids, and there was a lot of people. So I think most of the kids. Probably went around the town centre rather than people's houses. I do think it's dodgy in this day and age sending your kids around people's houses because you've got no idea what they're going to put in those sweets. There's some very odd and nasty individuals out there. There are also some, some very lovely people. I'm not sure I've got my kids going around door to door. I did see various reports on Spotted about finding things in their sweets. But I don't know how much of that's true and how much of it's one of these. You know these things spread and people copy and paste from other countries and previous years and you think it's something local that's happening and it's not. I don't know how much of it's that. But anyway, I'm rumbling. As always, I'm not eating just yet. Eddie's not gone to work today. He had a really good day with Chloe yesterday at the ferry. I think he surprised him what it was like. He really enjoyed it. So... He now wants to do something like that, and I was like, well, it's finding something that will give us enough income so that we don't have to do this anymore. You'd have to sell a hell of a lot of stuff to be able to earn what we're both earning, or even what he's earning. It just won't happen, I don't think. There are odd things that, that start off and suddenly become big, like the label lady during like lockdown or whatever. She really took off, didn't she? And she's got like a multi-million pound business or whatever. But those happening are few and far between. And you have to be a risk taker and neither of us are risk takers. Right, get Eddie's coffee on first. I don't even know what that is. What is that one? El Salvador. I think we're Colombian. We know we like Colombian. Smooth caramel. Actually, I'm wearing Alba Columbia because I think the smooth caramel is only half caff and I need the caffeine. Anyway, yeah, I'll let you go. Oh! <laughs> Eddie just come in the kitchen and scared the life out of me. I'll let you go and I shall catch you later. Since I saw you last, I've been to take you into work. You got called in, it's supposed to be off today. So he got called into work, so Tom and I ca called into Lidl very quickly because um, 
I thought I had a meeting, although luckily it's been cancelled. And um, I'll show you what I've got for my lunch. So this is a little high protein meal out of the fridge. So it's 402 calories. What was the protein? 32. 32.7 grams of protein. So really, really good, both calories and protein wise. Still having a rubbish day, but it's better than it has been for the last couple of days at work. So hopefully, just got to make it to the end of the day. It's 10 to two. Um, I had, all I've had to eat today. Is that lad climbing over a fence over there? Yeah. There's a lad climbing over a fence. Two lads climbing, they must have dropped the ball over. <gasps> Cheeky beggars. Nice. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Hooligans. Um, yeah, so I had a very thin slice of bread first thing this morning with a bit of peanut butter on because I had a really bad headache. Come on, and I want to take some ibuprofen. That's all I've had to eat. I haven't eaten all day. So I'm starving. So it's now 10 to 2, so I'm going to go and enjoy this. And I shall catch you later. Um, for tea, I'm going to do the Polish sausage and potato casserole stew, whatever soup, whatever you want to call it, in the instant pot. So I'm looking forward to that. That's why I went to Lidl to go and get the sausages. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Nothing else to report, really. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you later. Is that Luna? She's definitely not been herself today, but I think it's all the fireworks that are going off. So, I've just logged off work. Hello, you okay? You look very nervous. You're okay? You're okay? I might shut the curtains in a minute. So I have logged off work. Excuse me. I've logged off work. And I've just put today on first stitch by Mrs D. I'm sitting and editing my video and it's taken me ages because my footage is all out of order. So it's taken me forever and a day. Anyway, Tom came in to help me and we've managed to figure out a way of resorting it and I decided it was easy just to start again. So the vlog will be late today. I put a post on community yesterday asking what time people prefer and everyone, the consensus was that people weren't really bothered. I think the YouTube algorithm likes a regular upload time, but work just means at the minute, the last few days it's been a bit of a struggle to hit the, the, the five o'clock deadline. Hopefully at the weekend I should be back to normal, but... I'll quickly show you what I'm having now. It's not very exciting. So Eddie's made me a cup of tea and he said, do I want anything? I said, oh, what are you having? So I have got a bag of kettle chips that are the sea salt and balsamic vinegar. And then he's cut me two very thin slices of the brown bread that I made in the bread maker and put a bit of Dan Pack lighter on. So not the healthiest snack, but not the unhealthiest. I was a bit peckish and just needed something. So I'm going to have this now. So once I've finished doing my editing and uploading my video, I'm going to get on my crochet. For tea tonight, we're having the Viesca, or is it Cubasa? Cubasa and potato casserole. So uh, it won't take long to do that. So that's okay. And it's not that bad, I don't think, calorie-wise. I've got, I've got some green beans in the freezer, so I can have it with green beans this time. I think last time I made it, I didn't have any green beans left. So I think I've got some anyway. I hope so. But yeah, it's been been a busy day but I've tried to just pace myself and I haven't got a huge amount done like I wanted to but anyway it is what it is it's just just in a bit of a funk at the moment to be honest but never mind I feel a lot happier now I've logged off work for the weekend I need to come up with some sort of master plan this weekend of um, planning my escape to get out of work I need to come up with a, a good business idea that I can do that I can build up and then not have to worry about working for other people <laughs> but I haven't got that yet Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to eat my crisp sandwich and I shall catch you probably when I make my dinner. Evening. It is 20 to 9. Sorry for not vlogging very much, but um, we had Chloe and Ethan over. Chloe came to pick her car up because she left it here yesterday. Sorry for the darkness. That's better. And um, she stayed for a while. She was doing some bits getting some orders ready or something so they left not long ago I've got tea on but I obviously didn't record it because there's all sorts of things going on but Luna's petrified so we've got fireworks going off so she keeps running back and forth between the back of the sofa the bathroom her basket underneath the clothes area she's all over the place we've managed to get a tablet down and well Eddie has so hopefully that'll help I don't know if it's a little bit too late though I wanted to try and get two down a bit, that was impossible. But I'm hoping that 
we can give them to her over the next few days. And when the actual big day of bonfire night hits, she'll be okay, she'll be a little bit calmer. But I'll show you what I've been for dinner. I haven't showed you as well because I've only showed you recently how to make this. So I didn't want to show you again because it just seems pointless. This is the potato and cubasa. I've actually got green beans in it this time and I've put some cream cheese in. Which I'm just waiting for that to... In fact, I haven't got it on so to put it on. It might actually work now. <laughs> and it's still on the slow, slow release as I release the pressure. Let me switch this fan off now that it's finished releasing. Oh, it's gone off on its own like it knew. Right. So quite soupy every time I make it it's different it depends on what potatoes you use how many potatoes you put in how much cubacity you put in but however you do it it always tastes good so yeah I've additioned this out and we're having a bowl of this myself Eddie and Tom and then Ewan I think he's supposed to finish at 10 he messaged me earlier saying he's not feeling too well so I'm hoping he's not coming down with what we've had but I think actually well I don't know he was so supposed to be his day off and he needs to have a few rest days in there and he's not getting them so Anyway, this is the vanilla coffee that I showed you yesterday, which is the Nescafe Gold one. Mm. I find with mine, I've had to put two teaspoons in. It's supposed to be a sudden intensity, which is, this is what it is. Um, I made one yesterday and didn't think it was strong enough. So I've put two teaspoons in and it's just about right for me now. And I know it's quite late to be drink, drinking coffee, but I'm pretty tired and I've got to go and pick you up, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to be wide awake. And actually, to be honest, caffeine doesn't really affect me. I think this is done. <clears throat> I mean, the frozen green beans, literally the residual heat just helps to warm them through. They don't really need cooking as such. I could do get a loaf of bread on. I didn't show you this, but whilst I was in Lidl earlier, I managed to spend £50. But I came back and I was in a real rush. But I did buy a cheddar and sun dried tomato bread to put in the bread maker and a premium white bread mix. So just as something quick. So I bought that. What else did I buy? I bought the cream cheese, I bought the cubasa sausages, I bought Thompson sweets. I showed you my Belgian bun that I bought earlier. Oh, and I bought those protein meals and then I just bought some freezer protein meals too. You don't get much for £50 these days. Oh, this looks nice. Right, I'm going to dish this out and uh, hopefully remember to show you. But this will be, I have got a bit of crochet to show you actually because I've finished my rectangles, the bubble ones. I'm wondering now whether to wait until I've started the next week to show you tomorrow and show you it all kind of laid out where we are so far. I might do that, but I'm going to go because I'm waffling. So there is Tom's, there's Eddie's, we've just gone for smaller bowls and that one's mine and there is plenty left in the instant pot cooking away. Just editing and thought I'd pop on to say bye. Um, I have noticed that some of the footage with my new camera is quite dark, my house is quite dark now that it's winter. So I need to just see how that goes. I don't think it's as dark on my iPhone. I'm not sure. I'll have to just compare the two. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. There wasn't a huge amount happening yesterday, but um, there's not much happening today as I'm editing, to be fair. <laughs> it's just cold and damp and miserable. But anyway, thank you so much for watching if you got this far. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could, it really helps the channel. I'm desperately trying to get to 1500 subscribers for Christmas. And I'm not that far off. So if you haven't subscribed already, or well, check you are subscribed because sometimes YouTube has a habit of unsubscribing people. I've noticed that it's done it to me for a couple of channels recently. It doesn't cost you anything to do it and it helps my channel. It helps them to promote it to other people and all the rest of that. Um, comment down below, let me know how you're getting on. And if you like the video, pop a like on it. All the usual good stuff. And I shall see you tomorrow with another video. Take care. Bye.